fucking jack up and all of his bullshit. A surprise, asshole. I bet you never saw this coming. Did you? Too late. Did. Everything that I've ever said is not enough. It must be shown. Hey guys, this is the Ekron Rider here. And, uh... Today I'm just gonna let out a video response, a video rant, on a person that I had having problems with over the past week or so. His name is the Great Clement, or as I used to call him, the Complacent Clement, aka Jamie Clement, who used to be a YouTuber I used to follow for more than a decade now. No one else has ever kept that record, except for Fawful's Minion. Those are the only two that remained constant. Until now. Because, at the beginning of the year, around mid-January, Jimmy said that he was going to do t three major projects, well actually four major projects for the year. He d actually just did one of them, and that's it for January which is his Final Fantasy XVI retrospective. And he said originally he was going to do February with the insane lore of Mortal Kombat, which I was really looking forward to. In March, he said he was going to do a Star Fox retrospective, also another thing I've been looking forward to. And on April, he said he was going to do an Xbox retrospective because even though I'm not a huge fan of Xbox, I hear that the 360 market is shutting down because I know with computers, if it gets too old, Microsoft's would shut down support, like with old computers and stuff. And uh, on Patreon, I ask my patrons to vote on upcoming videos that they would like to see. And I, I don't ask them to just like recommend a game. I come up with the video topics. It's all my ideas, but they get to decide what comes out first, right? And after Final Fantasy 16, it's going to be the insane lore of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, insane lore. People love that series. After that is going to be uh, Star Fox. I'm going to be talking about why I love Star Fox 64 and why the state of the franchise has been quite disappointing. After that, I'm going to be talking about the Xbox 360 because the Xbox 360 marketplace is going to be going down later this year. And I wanted to gush about how Xbox was actually my favorite preferred console of the seventh generation and all the nostalgic memories I have of it. And I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. And then after that, there's gonna be another viewer voted uh, choice that has not been finalized yet. It's leaning one way, but it could change. And regardless, I've just mentioned five videos. And I wasn't looking forward to that, but months have passed since his resolution and since his Final Fantasy 16 retrospective. For the past five months, he decided to travel, and I'm sure his girlfriend Kira went, his girlfriend Kira went with him. He said he was gonna do traveling, and as soon as he was done, he posted on his community that you know, traveling's been done, he went to Wrestlemania, he went to his the Sonic Symphony, or whatever, and he said that he's at the finish line for his Mortal Kombat Insane Lore. Now, this was actually over a month ago from this recording, and all of a sudden, about a week ago from this recording, he posted a podcast. We did not get the insane lore of Mortal Kombat or anything else for the past five months. He has become complacent. He has become, I wouldn't say lazy, I know he hates that, but he deserves the slander that he's getting. Because he never follows up on his damn obligation. He has a Patreon for God's sakes. People voted for this stuff for this year. And he never fucking follows through! What the fuck, Jim? And you have failed! The complacent Clement, I stuck with that name ever since. And fans have been 
voting and paying him for nothing. About it. So why worry? Because it's your responsibility. Nothing at all. Now, I am not a tech expert, and I'm pretty much a novice, you know. I don't go with fancy equipment, I don't do online shopping, I don't do all this advanced stuff. But whatever I do, I make sure I get done in a timely fashion. If I said that I was going to do an elemental list per month, which originally was supposed to be his works, I would do it. I have a deadline, I have a responsibility, I do have a life, which by the way is no excuse at all. I mean everyone has a life. It just depends on whether or not you manage it, and how you go about it. And the great Clement, he's incapable of doing all of this. This is completely contrary to his dedicated, younger, and more energized self because, you know, he used to complete Let's Plays. He used to get the S and A rankings and, like, Sonic and stuff. He's now a shadow of his former self. What's happened to you? You're not the Simba I remember. He should plan things accordingly, but he hasn't over the past damn five months. And he did the false claim that 2024 is going to get better. He's a damn liar, and he knows it. He's a swindler. You're a crook. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? He keeps giving us those false promises, and by the way, on Patreon, he said that his Mortal Kombat lore is 90% done, which is a damn lie because it was May 12th, and as of this recording, it's now June 4th. And we got nothing. Nothing for the patrons, nothing for the devoted fans that have been waiting so long for it. My patience has run out. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. My patience has run out for him after 10 years of following because he is nothing more than a complacent, swindling asshole. He should never be trusted with anything ever again. And I'm about to throw in the frozen towel in his goddamn face. People should never lie to you. They should never keep false promises. They said they were gonna do it, and then they haven't done it over the past fucking five months. He's nothing more than like Shang Tsung or Damashi. He is a liar, a swindler, and he should never, ever be trusted. And I just pretty much gave him up. And I know he has a huge devoted following, but this was just the nail in the coffin. He deserves every bit of slander he can possibly get, otherwise it will not stop. Maybe just get therapy while you're at it to regulate yourself. How ironic that someone with multiple disabilities is capable on following through with her projects that are then a neurotypical. This is absolutely pathetic, complacent Clement, and I hope 2024 will be the worst year in your entire career so that you can have a day of reckoning and stop those fucked up bad habits. I hate you, Jim! And I hope they see the same.